hey, stick around because I am going to tell you about one of my favorite apps, which is Tadpoles. Coming up right now. Hey guys, welcome to Home Child Care Trainer, your YouTube channel for tips, tricks, and training all in the area of caring for children. Here on this channel, we help you to start, grow, and succeed as home child care providers. One of the things that you need as a child care provider is an app that's gonna help you to document and share pictures with families. And one of my favorite apps is Tadpoles. Now I'm gonna show you a quick overview of the mobile app. This also comes in desktop view. There will be a link at the bottom at the end of the video or you can check the description or the first comment that is pinned where you can watch a more detailed video. But right now, I'm going to show you an overview of the Tadpoles app right now. So you're going to want to select your Tadpoles Pro app. It's going to look like this when you first get there. I'll tell you how many children are in, how many children are out, if your assistant is in, um, any sticky notes that you might want to give to your assistant, and then the pin. Your assistant can click on it. And she'll be able to log in her number and she will be checked in for the day. If you go all the way to the right to start off, looking at the top, all of these people and these children are just for training purposes. So it comes with the app as far as training. If you look at the top at Jane, Melissa, Nicole, and Wanda, these are staff members. Again, people use this for child care centers, but you're going to use it for a home. So you probably only have one or two assistants. They will be there and then they will be here if they're clocked out. They will be here. If they're clocked in. That was a simple swipe to the right. Now we're going to swipe to the left and it's back here again. Now you go to the top right. There's the word action. If you click action, you can go check the attendance, who's in, who's out. You can sort children. You can add a new child. The change class you don't have to worry about because for home child care, they only have one class. So they're only checked into you. For sorting children, I like to sort by first name. So boom, now you can see Amanda, Cameron, Jacob, everything is alphabetical order. Another action is you can add a new child. So you will click add a new child. Again, because this is for training for a center, you wouldn't even have classrooms to select. You will just select what's there, whatever you've named your classroom, whatever your child care is called. That's what you'll select. So we're going to select puppies. You're going to put the name in there, new. And then all the information, you'll put the child's picture in there. You'll click on it. Underneath where it says add short note, I like to put if the child is allergic to anything. So no allergies. My finger. No allergies. And then on the bottom of that where it says add a detailed note, this is where I like to put yes or no to pictures and videos. When children enroll with me on their enrollment form, it states whether they're allowed to have their pictures and videos on social media and for educational purposes. And so all of my parents say yes because they love our videos. So yes, you're going to add contact there. You can add a medical professional information there. Anything that you add in there, it'll um, allow you to call the parents quickly. So add, definitely put it in there. But to look at what it looks like after you've added them in, we're going to select Miss Cameron Bailey, Bailey and we're going to go to her profile. So this is it. Special note, learning letters. Samantha is her mom. So here's Samantha's information. If I were to click the green phone, this will pull up her number to allow me to call her automatically, like real quick. Her doctor's information, in case something happens, it's all there. How old she is, it says nine years old when she was born. Her stage now says nine years old and really she should not be in the infant stage. So she's in school age. So you change to school age. Her classrooms, when she's there, when she was checked in six minutes ago, she's active. All that stuff is there. So again, those are the things that you can do when it comes to checking in the children. So we're going to check in Amanda. We click Amanda's name, click check in. Now you no longer see Amanda here. You see her over here. She is checked in. So this is how it will look for your home child care. After that, you're going to go over here. In order to do notes for Amanda, you have to push and select her name. Circle, a white circle should be around it. If you look at the bottom, all the way to the right, there's the word notes. Click on notes and you can add any notes. I like to add um, the notes for the day. So when parents come in with their children, I like to ask for any FYI, any for your information, any cuts, bumps, bruises, scratches, medications, anything going on at home that I need to be aware of. 
Whatever the parent says, I put in here. Make sure you check out my video on documentation. It's really important that you document because it didn't. If you don't document, it didn't happen. So we will say, Mom will say, um, Dad's out of town, and she didn't sleep. Why is that important for me? Because that means it's going to affect her today. That means she may be grouchy. She may be tired. Again. Uh, it's important because now I know that because she's not acting herself, she's not sick. Okay. Um, the reason why I asked it, because one of the things in my policy is a child doesn't necessarily have to be sick in order for me not to receive them in care. If a child is not acting him or herself, I will contact a parent and let them know. Now I will ask them at the beginning, you know, any FYIs, but for whatever reason, maybe mom and dad forgot to tell us that she didn't sleep at night. So those things are good and they're important because again, a child doesn't just have to be sick for something to be wrong with them. There's a, I, um, I did eight years in the middle military. I was a medical technician. Um, and there's sometimes there's things happening internally that we don't know as parents, as child care providers. So it's our job as child care providers to ask the proper questions. You guys are not babysitters. We are not babysitters. We are business professionals. We're entrepreneurs. We're child care providers. In order to provide care, we need to know and understand all of our children. So if I know Amanda comes in and she's always jumping and she's screaming and she's happy, but she comes in one day, she doesn't have a fever. She doesn't have a cold. Mom says no. And I'm watching her. She's laying out on the ground. She's very lethargic. I might want to call mom and say, hey, and also document at nine something. She came in, she laid on the floor. She didn't get up. She usually likes to play with blocks because again, you never know. And then the parents in my child care, I tell parents, if I call you to pick up your children, you have one hour for you or an authorized person to pick up your child. If you don't pick them up within an hour, you do that twice. You'll no longer be accepted into my care. We are very, very strict when it comes to our children because each child has different things going on. And we had a child before, there was something wrong with his legs. You know, he wouldn't want to walk. He wouldn't want to walk. And eventually mom, we told mom to take him to the doctors. One doctor was like, oh, he's fine. But it wasn't normal because he wasn't walking and he was of age of walking. He's always walked before. And then all of a sudden he stopped walking. Long story short, he eventually got to a doctor that actually looked at him and realized that he was having a serious infection inside his body again. Thanks to child care providers who are paying attention to their children. So make sure you document everything. Looking at the left bottom, you click on nap. You can start when she had a nap started, when it ended, and you can put that in there. So let's just do it for fun. She started her nap at 11.52 and ended at 12.52. Boom, that's going to show up there. Her meals, you have the point to put breakfast, lunch, PM snack, dinner, all that on there. She's eating breakfast now. You could put on here what she had, cereal and apples. And you could put that she ate some of it. And then you could put any notes. Was tired, didn't want to eat. And it's important also to put every as much detailed notes as you can as possible because you can go back and look at it after a week or two if there's ever any issues. If she's potty training, you can put it on here. If they're already potty trained, you don't have to. Same thing with diapers. Activities, we can talk about activities that they're doing, and you can add that on there as well. If you swipe again to the right, this is the ability to add photos. So you can click Add Photos. You can take a photo automatically. You're going to select whatever photo you want. You have to select her name. So notice when I select Amanda, her name pops over to the right. I can email it to the parents right now. I can hit daily and it will go into her daily report and the parents won't get into the end of the day when I check her out. Or I can put in her portfolio, which is there forever and, you know, just hanging out. So at the very bottom, it says select child, which we did. Pick activity. So you could put science, social, incident. If there was an accident and she scraped her knee, I might want to take a picture of her knee and put incident. But this was a fun photo. Loves free play. So we're putting that in there. And then again, you could type daily, you could type save for later or add to report. I have added to the report. If you swipe right again, again, it's going to tell us how many children are in. We now have one child in, 10 children out. And then if you swipe to the right again, here's what we call memories. Memories are things that happened before, not for today. So if I want to look at a note that happened the day before, a picture, it's there. Let's say, for example, we tell a parent that, hey, 
um, it's a new parent and they don't know that tuition was due on Thursday. They come, they're like, I didn't know. Well, you're able to say back in the notes, well, on Monday when you started with us, I put in your notes, tuition is due. I put in notes Tuesday, tuition is due. And it's your responsibility to have to look at that. So it's really good for documenting. Let's say little Michael at the bottom, Michael Martin scraped his knee. We took a picture of his knee. We documented it. We told mom, but let's say dad drops him off the next day or picks him up the next day and says, what happens to his knee? What happened? What happened? And they say, well, sir, it happened yesterday. And we put a note in and we let your wife know. And you know, you have access to tadpoles also. So it just really helps you for legal problems as well. Everything is documented in there. And again, now we're back to Amanda. It's highlighted. You have the ability to select your whole classroom or your whole home daycare and put notes in. So if you go to the top where it says Wonderland School, this will be yours. Maybe it's Welcome Home Child Care. Maybe it's Helping Hands, whatever your home daycare is called. And then you put note. You'll say, don't forget Friday party. And this will go out to all the parents, Okay. This will be added to all the children. So if I select on Amanda, look at the bottom. It says, don't forget the party. If I select on Alexis, it says, don't forget the party. And even though Alexis is not checked in yet, that note goes for your whole entire home child care. Now it's the end of the day and you want to check her out. You're going to swipe to the where it says in. Select Amanda and check her out. She is now back here on the checkout. I will add a link that has a um, in-depth training video. It's 53 minutes long. So that is for those who want to get a, a slower training. But for me, this is just showing you overall why I love tap holes. I really love it for infants because you're able to document their feedings, able to document their diapers while having to do all the paperwork. Question of the day, do you use tap holes? If you do, why do you like tap holes or why do you not like tap holes? If you do not use tap holes, what do you use? Please tell me you do not use the old fashioned paper method. We are in the new world and we use technology. So I pray that you are using that. It's always good to have backup paper but this is the best way it's easy for liability it's easy for documenting as always thank you from home child care providers your youtube channel for tips tricks and training we help you to start grow and succeed as home child care providers as always like the video share the video and make sure you are learning from the video see you guys next time